Guys, the first piece is on. Oh my gosh, so exciting. So this is our feed storage bin area. Hey farm fam, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome and welcome to another barn build vlog. So today is gonna be one of my more favorite parts of this series because today we are tackling the tack room. See what I did there? If you guys are excited, Mike just laughed at me. If you guys are excited for today's video, just like I am because I'm so excited for this part, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, if a chance to be a post notification shout out, let's get right into this tack room build. All right, so I actually started building something in the tack room and it's right behind me. So if you see right here, I really didn't film it because it was a very spontaneous project. I wanted to do it really bad. I saw the idea on Pinterest and I just ran with it. We had a bunch of wood here and I just ran to Home Depot, grabbed some more wood. So I'm gonna show you guys that and kind of what I did because I really didn't film it because I finished it last night in my time at 11.52 p.m. Like that's how determined I was. This was a very last minute thing. So I just wanted to get it done. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you it. Okay, so in my last video, you guys saw that we did the arches. So as you guys can see, there's new wood right here for my new project, which we'll get into. But here are all the arches. The stalls are coming out really nicely. So we have our bedding coming in this week. So the whole video is gonna be on that. It's super exciting what we're doing for the bedding. And the subscriber actually recommended the bedding. So I'm so excited to share that with you guys. My tack room project. So this is actually for a feeder for the tack room. So you guys will see when we get right into it. But we're just gonna go ahead and start working. So I finally have all my wood cut as far as for the sides. You guys will see this come together soon, but I just need to screw it in and then pretty much the rest of the frame just kind of gets bolted onto this. So this was like the hardest part, but I'm super excited. It's looking really good. And I did this all by myself. Mike did not help me because he was busy working um, with the lights. So I'm really proud of it because usually we work on everything together. So I completed something without his help. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and continue on with this. So you guys, it's literally Midnight. Like, well, it's about to be. My phone won't show it. Come on. Okay. 11.43. And we just got finished with this, and it's literally, like, not even finished. But this is where we're stopping for tonight. But I love how it looks. It's definitely made the room smaller, but this is a feed room after all, so we knew that was going to happen. But it hasn't made it, like, super, like, much smaller. It's just, noticeably, it is a little bit smaller. So this is our feed storage bin area. So as you can see, it's just at an angle here. Here's the front, obviously, and then the top of it. And then I'm gonna put another ledge right here. And that's where all of our supplements and things like that will go when it comes to feeding. But this thing is very, very long. It's almost eight foot. We didn't put it all the way eight foot just because we're still drywalling the walls. So it's gonna end up coming out a little bit farther. But it's almost eight foot, I think it's like seven and a half foot long. And then I believe it's like three foot this way or something like that, or maybe four foot, and then three foot up. I don't remember my measurements, but anyways, I just found this idea on Pinterest. People actually use like this side with like the trimmed out as like the outside, if that makes sense. But I really liked how it looked like this. And I actually really like the industrial look of all the little screws, but I actually have some smaller trim that I might trim it out with today. I don't know, we have to see, but it will fit four of our feed like trash cans. So it'll go like Blaze's feed, Trigger Cash Louie's feed, cow feed, and then a bucket for like the chicken feed. And then the pig feed and the cat feed will go somewhere else. But for now, this is what we have. And then the door we have to make, still that'll go up on like a hydraulic system, Mike said. He'll kind of make that for me. Mike was working on all the electrical, as you guys can see. We have all this electrical to run throughout here so that we can cover it with the drywall and insulate everything. So we're still working on that. We got a window unit for this tack room. So the window unit's gonna go right here. It's gonna be so nice and chilly in this room. So I'm just trimming out the little box here just to add detail, just for aesthetics. And then we add like the back piece of this so that the supplements don't fall behind it, obviously. All right, so we're pretty much almost done with this. We obviously still need the lid. I ran out of the trim, this trim, I ran out of it. <laughs> I started to try to do it over here, so we're gonna need to get more at Home Depot. I only have that one piece left for this side right here. So I need to do that still. I don't even know if I'm gonna mess with doing the other side since it's gonna be against the wall. We'll see. But as you can see, we did put this back thing in here and we still have to put like the little ledge. So I have to do that. And then obviously, like I said, the doors. 
but Mike's been running all the wire because we have to run all the wires out of the tack room and we obviously aren't hooking up anything yet. This isn't even technically live wire yet. It's just everything getting out of the tack room so that this can go all behind the drywall that we put up. So he had to do that first and he still needs to clean up all this before and then he'll have to label the breaker so that we know where everything is and then we'll be able to do the drywall. And I just spray painted the hinges for that little feed thingy that I have. So I just painted those, so those are gonna go on. Hopefully it dries quickly, but it's a big mess in here, you guys. We have just wires everywhere, but like I said, they're not live, so it's not dangerous or anything like that. It's just the prep. <laughs> There's just wires everywhere. So as soon as we get this and he labels all them, we're gonna install this bad boy. We're kind of all over with projects right now. Mike keeps like jumping and helping me from one project, then I'll come and help him with the wires and stuff, but it's getting done, so. <laughs> It's an interesting process. Oh, you look, he's putting actually the little boxes in. So this will be the light switch for the tack room. So light switch will go here and then the wire will get fed here this is interesting to me check that out we're getting really serious here Woohoo! and then I have switches so we have to just connect the switch that's cool so that's gonna be the light for the tack room and then the drywall will go around it and then we're gonna put an outlet I think right here and then an outlet up top here where this wire goes and this will be for our window unit and then we have to make a hole right here in this metal because then we're gonna have this little unit go here and this is gonna be a three unit for lights and fans. So Mike has everything labeled in there. So, and we have outlet over here now and then light switch and the last of the labeling is just over here and to make this a little bit more organized and then we should be getting started on the drywall soon. Ah, you guys, he's cutting into the barn, but it's for a good reason, so he's just cutting this out so that we can have all of our switches. All right, you guys, so we have our hole for the box. It's gonna hold all the switches for the lights and the fans in the barn, so that's really exciting, but it was very nerve-wracking for Mike to put a hole into our attack room, let alone, you know, like our barn, but it's gonna be perfectly fine because it's gonna be covered on drywall on this side, and then on the outside, it's gonna have like obviously the box and then um, like a trim kit over it. So he's just moving the wires up a spot so that they go like up and down through the actual box thing. I went up there. Cool, and that's it. So basically, this is how the box is gonna go in. We may have to trim it, but it kind of is looking like it might fit nicely. That's it. Cool. cool. All right, so it's time now, and we're gonna fish the wires through. Woohoo! So this is for the fans. And now he is just running those wires through, and we are re-taping them just so that we don't get them confused. All right, you guys, look how cool this looks. It just looks really official, so it's really exciting looking. But everything's gonna go up there. We're starting to organize it a little bit better now. But check that out. It looks so official, and all of them are ran out here. So it's so cool. And then everything's basically ran behind the wall. And then this is everything that has to still get hooked up. So it's just still a big project. But we at least wanted to get everything done inside the tack room so that we can drywall. So it's coming along. All right, you guys, we're getting serious. The unit is coming in because it's time to drill another hole into our barn and make a frame and get this bad boy all hooked up. I'm so excited. Eee, it's so cool. So basically, it's just like any old unit. The power, auto, high, low, medium, blah, blah, blah. Super cool. This my mom actually gave to us, so we didn't even have to buy this, so that's cool. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. All right, you guys, so we just turned it on really quick to make sure that it works. And oh my gosh, it's blowing such nice cold air. I'm gonna see if you guys can see it blow my hair around. 
here. I'm gonna turn it on high because I'm so hot. Here we go. Do you guys see my baby hairs? Like this is serious. This room is gonna get so cold. I'm so excited. And the AC unit frame is getting started. So just really simple, we just used two by fours. And this was a bunch of back and forth of Mike walking in and walking back out to try to figure out, because he's actually screwing it in from the backside. So we contemplate a lot and try to get this perfect so that the AC unit fits perfectly within our frame. All right, you guys, so the frame is made. It is pouring outside again. So now we just have to cut the metal and then we have the window unit that can go in. And more cutting into the barn. And this is so the back side of the AC unit can come outside of the tack room. This is actually in that little storage space that we left by two stalls. So this is our little frame. Hi, Mike. <laughs> you almost fell off your bike. <laughs> So it looks pretty cool. It's like a perfect little window that might see there. It's like a drive through <laughs> Come back up. <laughs> All right, so he's just kind of grinding the rest of it just to make it nice and smooth on the other side. And then the window unit goes in, guys. It looks so good. We are at Home Depot and we just got all the stuff for the tack room. We're using a blown in insulation. We got some studs for when we hang our tack on the walls and stuff like that. All of our supplies and all of the drywall. And this was a pretty crazy trip here. It's raining, so we're gonna have to use a tarp because the drywall does not need to be getting wet right now. Everything's in, all the drywall is nice and covered with the tarp and then all of our other stuff on the top. So we're all set. So we've been back with all of our supplies and we just cut out these two by fours for studs. So this is where we'll hang our saddle racks and stuff. So we wanna make sure it's super strong. One there for a possible shelf and head stalls I think are gonna go right here. So we don't really need um, studs there. We'll just use anchors into the drywall. And then I've been working on this a little bit. I just added the trim to this side cause I got more trim at the store. But we're gonna go ahead and bolt these in and then start the drywall. So we have our three studs up. This was extremely frustrating and really difficult just cause it's like screwing in sideways to the metal. It's pretty difficult. So we decided we realistically only needed three. The extra three were just gonna be just for add on stuff, but it was way too hard. We were spending way too much time on it. So we just skipped it. We did the essential ones and now it's time to drywall. I'm so excited. I look like a total mess, but you guys, if you guys are excited for the drywall to happen, Make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up right now because this is super exciting. This room is going to start to look like an actual room. Guys, the first piece is on. Oh my gosh, so exciting. It's so exciting. I can't believe we're at this point. <laughs> I'm so excited, but we need to continue on. Alrighty, so we just continue with the drywall. And these first three pieces were pretty easy. Oh, I should say two because then we had to start cutting it and getting it to fit and it was just kind of getting a little bit harder because then we had to start doing cutouts for our outlets so then that started to take a while but not too bad but I will say doing drywall is definitely not our favorite thing when it comes to building this barn the woodwork is so much more of our wheelhouse we don't often do drywalling as much as we do woodworking so this was definitely a learning process as you guys can see we haven't put the insulation in yet because like I said we did get a blown in insulation, so we're gonna put up the drywall and at this point then, in the next vlog, we will blow in the insulation through the top of it and figure out the rest as we go. So like I said, this is not our wheelhouse, but we have done it before, so we're just making it work. <laughs> but I will say, doing the drywall, it's definitely looking more like a room, obviously, but for some weird reason, it's making the room look bigger than what it did without the drywall, so that was really cool, but I'm so excited to still texture the walls and paint it. Now we are just doing the back wall and this is where we have to cut out for the breaker box. So this one again was more time consuming because we had to cut around that whole box. And the knife that we had was a drywall knife but it just wasn't very sharp and it just was taking a long time to actually cut the holes out. But we got it figured out. So I think we're pretty much almost done for the night but it's really coming along, so we have all this side and then the one right here. 
We cut out the hole for the breaker box. Now Mike is just finishing up cutting the hole out for our AC unit because I really wanted that in today. So hopefully we can trim this up and then get this done. It's literally almost midnight, so we're trying to just wrap it up here. AC unit is going in and I am so happy. It's super heavy, but it was like a perfect fit. So our framing worked out really well and we cut the drywall hole really nicely. So I was so happy about this. This was just like the icing on the cake for tonight. Our AC unit is finally in. Oh my gosh, this is a good ending to the night. It's so cool looking. It's perfectly framed out. Now we're gonna go and I'm gonna show you guys the back side of it. So this is perfect because this is the back. Mike, you're so sweaty. Oh my gosh, she's been working hard. We've been in the barn for literally like 12 hours. So this is perfect, this little spot right here, because this will sweat and leak a little bit, the actual AC unit. So it's perfect that we didn't actually put a horse stall here. So this will be really nice um, for it to sit here. So this is the back of it. It does come out a little bit, but not that much. But we wanted to do it inside because we didn't want this to be like on the outside of the barn. I thought that would look weird. So that's why it's like this. We're just going to make a little shelf for it to sit on though. All right, you guys, so my camera actually died, so I'm just on my phone, but that gives us a good place to end this vlog because we have literally been working all day. We have been at working at least 12 hours in the barn, so we are exhausted. We did a lot on that tack room. We have so much more to go. I wanna say this is like part seven of the barn build, but part one of the tack room. So Mike is just finishing up putting drywall screws into the window unit so that it's just secure to the wall but we turned that AC on and it was so nice. But you guys, if you guys like this video or are excited for the tack room, make sure you go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to have a post notification shout out. Today's shout out goes to all right, you guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next one.